it is a hot one today. Man. Whew, steamy in upstate New York. Ooh. Crazy. Huh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wire Filtration Wednesday. I'm your host, Charlie Newman, and today we're going to be talking about steam cookers. So to get started, um, when it comes to steam cookers, as you got you service guys out in the field or restaurant owners probably know, um, if you've been shut down for you know seven to ten days, you're gonna want to get those water fil filters changed out and uh, your equipment cleaned uh, by an authorized service technician or uh, maybe yourself if you're you know if you got those skills. So uh, what we got in front of us today. Are a variety of water filtration solutions uh, that you might have on your wall or that you might have um, uh, dealt with in the past. So uh, what we're going to talk about are these filter systems, how they work, and some things to look for in the field. So uh, what we got over here, Clean Steam 2 uh, single and we also have a uh, SF165 by 3M. Now, it might seem like sacrilege having these two together, but I promise you, there's no beef here. All is well. Uh, so we got the 7CB5, chlorine taste odor, and we also got the uh, uh, scale stick uh, as the second stage. So it's got that uh, one-two punch with the uh, uh, chlorine taste odor and the uh, corrosion control scale inhibition mash those two together, you got yourself a clean steamer. Am I right? Uh, and then right here, SF-165, similar setup, except it's all quick twist. Chlorine taste odor, HF-65. HF-8S, second stage, handle that, uh, all the scale that you might have with your equipment. Uh, these are great to have, um, help prevent scale from forming on your equipment you know, steam, it gets in all the cracks and crevices uh, in your steamer. Uh, once that steam that has hard water, by the way, touches those uh, surfaces, it will, uh, uh, you know, add to the, the lime scale, maybe magnesium will form, uh, dirty. So, you know, you'll want to de-lime your equipment before uh, changing your water filters out. Uh, that's a fact. Uh, we also have in front of us today uh, some other filters I'm going to touch on briefly. You might have a 10-inch uh, bowl with some scale inhibitor. This one has citrine, like we talked about last week. Great scale inhibitor. This one, uh, we got Selecto. Uh, this one's great. Uh, it's uh, on Hobart's, Vulcans. You'll find these in the field. Uh, very good filtration technology. Selecto Scientific. Uh, this one over here, OptiPure, you all know them. They're on uh, Blodgett's, Alto Shams, and uh, Cleveland's, to name a few. Um, those are the recommended filters. Great filter system, but uh, we also have another solution for those harder situations, as you guys are probably aware of, or not, the Terry. Now, this is great. 24 grains of hardness this thing can handle. Most of these other guys, uh, 10 to 18 grains, give or take. OptiPure is in the 18 range. Uh, this guy, 24. It'll handle those hard water situations. We've seen it um, in a work incredibly in those kind of environments. And it works really well. So, uh, And like I talked about last week, uh, when it comes to the deliming process, some quick clean citrine can get that job done. Um, it's great. One ounce of this in a warm water spray bottle, 16 ounce, 32 ounce, um, spray it in the machine, wipe it down, it'll get the job done uh, when it comes to deliming. But there's plenty of them out there, a um, lot of options to choose from. That's just the one we recommend. 
Uh, so if you guys have any questions regarding any of the uh, filtration technologies we covered today, maybe the systems it's themselves, uh, let us know. So thanks for watching episode number five of Wire Filtration Wednesday, and we'll talk to you guys next time.